welcome to a truly extraordinary chapter in our journey of touring luxury homes. I'm Nesta, and today we are at the peak of not just the address hotel and residences, but at the peak of what I consider to be the dream penthouse in Dubai. Designed and renovated by Maher Muhajir, it is where the pinnacle of luxury and elegance meet. We'll leave the price and the specs in the bottom corners. And of course, if you're new here and you want to see more property tools like this, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Now, without further ado, let's begin the tour. So we're on the 70th floor of the Address Tower. We're gonna to start the tour in the Great Room, but before we begin, right behind you is the entrance foyer. So you have a private elevator which comes up. You have two entrances. Now on this floor, we have two identical penthouse apartments. We're gonna to tour this one because for me, it has some of the best views, but the other one also has some great views. So throughout the tour, I'll mention it and we'll show you the views from there also. Now, as we begin in here, you can see we have those double height ceilings. This place feels so grand. Our first stop is the lounge area. Now, obviously, I'm gonna talk about the views that we have in this apartment. We're looking directly onto the world's tallest tower, the iconic Burj Khalifa. They have these floor to ceiling glass windows giving you a panoramic view of the Dubai skyline. Well, we're actually in the Dubai skyline. Now, in the distance, you can see the ocean. And from up here, like, the world just seems to shrink. And it's like you're looking down at your own little kingdom from a bird's eye view in your sort of modern day castle. Now, from up here, we can also see onto the Dubai Old Town and the world's largest mall, the Dubai Mall. Now, the address hotel is connected directly by an air-conditioned sky bridge. So you don't really have to suffer if you want to go to the mall, which is awesome. Now, the interior design of this home is incredible. With the design and build, Mahir used only the top quality materials and brands. So the lounge area is fitted out with Fendi furniture. Even down here, there's Fendi carpet. Also, there's little details. You have a little Fendi tray right in front of you. Now, above us is the chandelier, which looks incredible. And opposite, there's this highlight wall with wooden shelves either side and the TV nestled on this gray smoke book matched marble back wall which contrasts so well with the white marble that we have throughout most of the home now right beneath it is this really cool feature so there's a fireplace but you don't really need a fireplace in dubai because it's already scorching hot so this is a steam fire as you turn it on the orange light comes on and you can put little aromas in there and it makes your home smell awesome you can see that steam start to come out and it actually looks like flames which is awesome now continuing the tour on the way to the dining area i'll show you another feature so this Home is fully automated. You have these touch pads dotted throughout the home like this one here on this awesome wall with that wainscoting design. But you can control your blinds, your lights, which is a handy feature. Now the dining area is incredible. This was actually the first point of entry for me because you have the service elevator which comes out through this hallway here. You're gonna see that a little bit later on. But as I came out, looking out onto the Burj Khalifa, it seriously felt surreal. Now this five meter long wooden dining table sits in the center. If you want to come a bit closer, Marco, you can see the detail, like the trim here is made of leather. You have that glass on top of it and the furniture is Minotti. You can just feel how sturdy and heavy this is. It's such an awesome apartment. Obviously that view in the background, I'm going to be talking about views a lot in this tour. In the back of the room, we have this Boko de Lobo cabinet. Now, hopefully I didn't butcher that word. It's always hard to say these brands, like sometimes they're saying it in English feels weird as well, like Boko de Lobo, <laughs> it feels weird. Now, if we continue the tour onto the kitchen, 
I want to talk about the view again through here. So now you're looking out directly onto the sea. In the distance, you can see the World Islands and another iconic tower here. It's the Address Sky View. Now, how that lights up at night, it really takes a massive part of that Dubai skyline. Now we're in the kitchen, so you have this a circular marble island with the black countertop right in front of these awesome breakfast chairs. They have such a nice felt material. Above us, this awesome chandelier hanging down, which look like lanterns, and it has that marble design continued. Now we have Miele appliances throughout. We have the convection cooktop here with that sort of convection fan right in the middle. We have the convection combi oven here in the back, and the black marble is continued onto the back wall here with the sink. You have storage throughout, and check out these cabinets up here, pushed to open with that tempered glass. And I love how they've utilized all the space for storage. Even the corners of the island have these drawers around the corner, which you don't see often. Also, just check this out. Fendi tray, I mean, the materials that they've used is just incredible. And at the back here, obviously it's a high-tech apartment. It's a push to open fridge. Check how much space that has. You have the freezer down at the bottom, but now let's continue the tour on through down this corridor. You have these two steps with the recessed lighting and our first door along the way is the service kitchen. Now by any other standards, this would be an awesome kitchen in any other home. It's fully kitted out, so you have those Miele appliances, a convection cooked up with the convection fan above. You have the combi ovens here on the side and the microwave storage throughout. And at the back of the island, we have these sort of breakfast chairs, but again, this is a totally different view now. We're looking on to DIFC. That's the Dubai Financial District here. And that's one of the big parts of the Dubai skylines and the Sheikh Zayed Road. I love the layout of the sort of junction that we have here. It looks like a piece of artwork. Also in here, another push to open fridge. And let's see if this works. This is a slide. Yeah, so the freezer opens up just like that. Now we'll close these and we'll continue back down the corridor. Our next stop, which is the first entrance here, is the powder room. Now this has got to be one of the best powder rooms I've ever seen. And that's not even a joke, right? So we have the dual floating vanity with the mirrors either side. You have that white marble countertop and that's continued throughout the rest of this powder room. On the opposite wall is this mother pearl. So that's actually the clam that the pearl comes in and it's made from that material, which is incredible. If we head into here, this is the actual powder room with a separate vanity and that bronze sink sitting atop that white marble. Now the views here are incredible. You have the water closet in the back. Uh, with those views, I wouldn't really call it a water closet. It's more like a throne in here, just looking out onto that view. Now, if we head further down the corridor, now we've had a couple of comments that people wanted to see the sort of electrical rooms and how these big places function. So here we have this. This is just a plain and simple electrical box. But what they've done is they've disguised it with this secret door, which looks like sort of wall feature. Now, as we head further down here, we have this dip in here. These are the service stairs and lift. This is where I came out that first time. Now, there's a reason why these service stairs are here. So right at the back there on the right is the laundry room and wet kitchen. That's actually where we kept our gear. It was our little office. And also for you electrical room lovers, there's a door leading into a huge electrical room. Now on the other side is the maze room. You can see why it's all connected. It's an awesome maze room, right? With those views and that ensuite in the back. It's just incredible. But for us, the first stop here is the guest bedroom. It has this pocket sliding door, which opens up. We have the bed and bed sit in the center. And this back wall feature looks like it's floating with that recessed lighting in behind. Obviously, the views again are incredible. We get a bit more views. Every time you go into a different room, you see a little bit more of the views. So we can see onto the ocean back there. And right in the back over there is the iconic Dubai frame and the world's largest cantilevered building, which is coming to completion. And there is a video of that from us coming soon. So stay tuned for that one. We have a TV set up here with the vanity and mirror here, which opens this room up even more, even looking out onto that view back there. Now, the walk-in closet is so nice. They've used that gorgeous wood here with the draining, which looks incredible. And the quality of the materials that are used for this is so nice. Now, the ensuite bathroom has that white marble throughout 
and those floor to ceiling and glass windows, this room feels like you're floating above the clouds. It's incredible. And you have that white marble vanity with that mirror above and the walking with that huge rain head. Man, I would love to stay in this place for a little bit. Now, if we go back through the great room, I want to show you what I was talking about when I said that this was my first impression of the apartment. So as, we came, as I came from that side, this is what I saw. This is incredible. I still can't believe I'm touring in this place. This is, seriously is a dream apartment. Also, I wanted you to get a little bit of a different perspective of this whole place from that side, because as you can see, the stairs are really a main feature of this home. Obviously, Jeffrey here, the best guard dog you ever see. Now, right at the bottom, we have this Wilhelm Schimmel piano. Oh, hopefully, I didn't butcher that word again, but I do speak German, so I think I got the accent down. <laughs> but so we have this piano sits at the bottom of this huge staircase, which runs all the way up both floors. Now, as you play, the acoustics resonate throughout all the apartment. It's incredible. Try it out. <laughs> now, it looks out also onto that stunning view. But now let's head upstairs. Now, as you can see, right by the stairs is the entrance where we came, well, we came in through the apartment. That's where you come in. You have access to the other apartment. The stairs are built so nicely, so sturdy. They've used that marble on the staircase and they've used that bronze on the banisters with that glass so it keeps it all open. And these curves that they've done with the design, so Maher, the designer, made this home stunning. But what's great about coming up these stairs is that it's its own sort of tapestry, its own experience. You're looking out directly onto the Burj Khalifa. This is incredible, I keep saying it. Now this chandelier, which hangs from the top all the way down here, if you come a little closer, I love these orange details that they have in the chandelier, matches with the inside of that piano perfectly. It's incredible. Also what you'll see here is these are not even floor to ceiling glass window. These are floor to top of the apartment windows. So they stretch down the entirety of this whole duplex penthouse and gives you so much of that light coming in and obviously those incredible views. Now that we're at the top of the stairs, let's start exploring. Now our first door here is the primary bedroom, but we've got to leave the best for last, obviously. Now we have this long corridor which leads down. This is in a U shape, so on the other side we have the office and bedrooms. But in between there's this small seating area with the ceramic art feature above. We also have an exit onto an outdoor area. Now I know what you're thinking, an outdoor area on the 70th floor, that's crazy. Which I'm going to show you when we do the tour of the primary bedroom, because for me that all sort of goes into one. Now the office here is covered in glass, so it feels super open. We have this sliding door here, leads into the wall, but the office is done so nicely. We have that wood matching the wood on the office table here, and those views obviously are incredible. You're looking directly out onto the ocean. It's such a beautiful day today. I'm so glad you guys get to see it. Now down the corridor, this door on the right here leads into the service elevator, so it does lead up to both floors of the apartment. Our first door is the second guest bedroom. Now it is slightly smaller than the ones we saw downstairs. You'll notice that all the bedrooms have their own little theme. So this one has that green theme. We have these same sort of bed set up with the bed sit in the front and that chandelier above. I love how they've integrated that felt padded back wall into the actual wall. Now obviously I have to talk about the views we're looking onto DIFC. Also what I didn't mention is actually we live right across the road. So from down here you can see our complex like there's the tennis courts that we usually play from the pool it's so weird seeing it from this high above now across from the bed we have the tv setup and also what you'll notice is that we have wooden floors throughout so there's a little bit of a warmer feel throughout this bedroom now we're leading straight into the walk-in closet there's a lot lighter tones in here but the same quality materials used for the actual cabinets and we have a vanity mirror right at the end here and also similar to the one that we had downstairs, but again, amazing, is that ensuite bathroom. These views are incredible from here. I literally want just to have a shower in here. I'm more of a shower guy. But yeah, you have that white marble throughout, the vanity mirror here with the mirror above and that sink sitting atop that marble. Now let's head back out to the corridor. We'll head to the junior suite. 
Now you can see what I was saying, that all the rooms have different color tones. This one has more of a purple tone. We have that backboard which stretches all the way on the back wall here with that highlight feature. We have a seating area just here. And from this side, you get the sunrise. So the sun comes just above here creating these awesome glows in the morning. We have the TV set up just here with a huge mirror. Now this way into the back, this is the ensuite bathroom and shower. The ensuite is enclosed behind this a glass wall here. Now with this glass wall, it feels so open with that space behind. You have the white marble throughout the ensuite bathroom with the vanity here and that mirror above. See that black trim matches all the sconces, the handles, and even the trim on the entrance to the walk-in shower with that huge rain head above. Now let's head into the walk-in wardrobe. You have a floating vanity here with the huge mirror, opens that space even more. We have so much storage throughout here and sort of the trims match these handles. Now they feel large and like really royal, they're such good quality. As you open it up, the recessed lighting comes on and highlights your clothes. Such an awesome walk-in. Now let's head back up to the top of the stairs. We're gonna finally explore the primary bedroom. Now, as views go from primary bedrooms, this has got to be up there with the top. These floor to ceiling glass windows have that panoramic view. Now we have here four of Dubai's many main attractions. So we have the top of the Burj Khalifa, the Dubai Mall, the Dubai Opera House and the Dubai Fountains. Now at night, they come alive. We were actually here last night looking at them. They're incredible. Now imagine going to sleep with this view. Well, Actually, a little interesting fact. When I first moved to Dubai, this is where we stayed. Not this apartment, but in this building. Full disclosure, I was couch surfing at the time, but it was three months and it felt like a dream coming here. You know, first impression of Dubai, like looking at this, when you turn out the lights at night, going to sleep, looking out onto that, it's just felt surreal. But now let's continue on with the tour. We have the bed here in the back with the wooden back wall feature, which looks like it's floating with that recessed lighting. We have the chandelier above and the bed sit in the front. Now the material of the leather of the bed sit is amazing. The small vanity mirror to this side and the seating area on that side, but an awesome feature here, which we didn't realize was here. But I opened these cupboards. I was like, why is there no shelving here? Because this is a TV which pops out of the cabinet which is incredible. We'll put that back because it takes a while to come up. Now, as we head into the walk-in closet, we have a transition into the wooden floors. We have storage down both ends with a window here looking out into that view. You have a design feature from the building which is blocking apart, but it doesn't matter. To this side, we have the mirror which sort of reflects that view as well. So any side that you're looking, you're getting that view. Now we go into the ensuite. This is a stunning in here. Those floor to ceiling glass windows bring in so much that natural light, that white marble, it's incredible. The jewel vanity here with the mirrors either side. Now I love the black trim here around the mirrors which contrasts with the white marble but goes with the storage underneath. Now this standalone tub here is incredible. When the sun sets, the light coming in, I can imagine sitting there soaking. Also, you can have a little sneak peek onto what we have outside. But before we get there, we have the walk-in shower. Now this is incredible. Looking out directly onto the Burj Khalifa with that huge rain head above. And like little features like this shampoonage on the side as the sun's setting creates these awesome shadows around the bathroom. Now we're finally heading into an outdoor area on the 70th floor, which is mind boggling for me. Just to think, that on the 71st floor, we have an outdoor area. It feels so open. I've never experienced something like this before with that view in the back. Now, it's awesome here as well. It's quite nicely protected, so it's not too windy. As soon as you put your head over, you get this massive gust of wind. Now, if this view wasn't enough, we have this jacuzzi hot tub right in the middle. Now, it's not filled up right now. We might see if they want to fill it up for us a little bit later if we get to stay. I'm joking, probably not. But they have that greenery here in the back. Also at the back here is another seating area with another incredible view. That was one of my favorites with that sort of intersection below. It truly does feel like an art piece. Now, as it gets later on in the day, the sun sets below the horizon, casting a golden glow on the glass facade and creating a tableau right before your eyes. As twilight falls, the Burj Khalifa turns into a mesmerizing spectacle of lights illuminating the night sky. 
It stands as a testament to Dubai's unwavering pursuit of beauty, inspiring generations to reach new heights. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour as much as we did. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys in the next tour. Thank <laughs> you.